So guys, welcome to episode number one of my Buy Munich Career Mode series. That's right, today we'll be starting a new Career Mode series. Buy Munich did win the vote from a couple of days ago. So yeah, let's jump into it, my new Career Mode series. Guys, make sure you go ahead and drop a like rating on the video right now. Can we reach over 300 likes? That'll be insane for episode number one. Drop a comment down below on players that you guys want me to sign for this Buy Munich side. I'll be showing you guys my transfer budget, how much money I do have. So make sure you take that into consideration when you are when you are dropping your transfer suggestions in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe also if you are new round here to the home of FIFA 15 career mode. So let's take a look at this Bayern Munich side. We all know how strong Bayern Munich are. They're one of the best teams in the world. They're the best team in Germany and one of the best teams in the world. So we've got Neuer in goals. David Alaba as our left back. Benatia and Boateng as our two centre backs. I did start Philip Lahm right here on the team sheet as a right back because I feel like Philip Lahm as a right back is better. But do you guys want me to play him in the central midfield position, CDM? Let me know in the comment section. I do also reply to your comments down below. So, yeah. So, Philip Lahm as my right back. I've got Goethe, Schweinsteiger, and Thiago in the midfield. We've got Ribery as our left winger. Lewandowski up front with Robin out on the right. That's a very strong starting 11, but that is just a side that I just really put together really quickly because we will be having, obviously, transfer window in today's episode. We're going to try and sell and buy some players. And also on the substitutes, we've got Muller, Alonso, Rafinha, uh, Dante, Bernat, Reina, also Martinez on the reserves. And he's a very, very strong side. So, in my opinion, we don't really have to do much with this squad. Usually with my career mode, I do have to change up the side a bit. But in my opinion, I don't really have to do much with this Bayern Munich side. The thing that I'm trying to look for with this side, so the thing that I'm going to do in this transfer window is try and sign players that we can use as a backup for our starting 11 players. And I will be going through that um, a bit more into detail just as we take a look at my shortlist after these emails. So we've got a few emails here. Our domestic cup objective is to win the cup. Our league objective is to win the league title. And our assistant manager has let us know that we should be looking for a striker. So really, we're going to have to try and win every single piece of silverware for this season to satisfy the board. So I am going to sell two players, or add them to the transfer list, sorry, and uh, our 35-year-old striker and a 33-year-old goalkeeper who really won't be doing much throughout all this season. So take a look at my shortlist. I've got a right midfielder from Marseille, central midfielder Pjanic from Roma, a left midfielder Julian Draxler, who does play for Schalke, also in the Bundesliga, very high potential on him, and Stefan Jovetic from Manchester City. And as I said before, I'm looking for players that are, you can say, young, and also I can use them as a backup because... Because if you, as you guys did take a look at my starting 11, they're very, very strong players. And there really isn't no one that I want to come in and take the um, take the spot in the starting 11. So I am going to decide and just buy players and use them as a backup. Because obviously, we're going to be having a really, really tough and tight schedule. Because we are in Champions League. We're in everything. Every competition. And it is going to be very, very tough for us to keep those players fit who are obviously in the starting 11. For example, Robin, Ribery, Lewandowski. I really need backup, uh, backup strikers, backup attackers, and just really, I need a backup player in every position just in case someone is is on low fitness. So we're coming for Stefan Jovetic here, Manchester City. The strikers that I do have at the club at the moment are Lewandowski, P Pizarro, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. The 35-year-old who was playing as a striker, I just did add him to the transfer list, as you guys did see before. And also, we have Thomas Muller, who can play as a central attacking midfielder, centre forward, left winger, right midfield, um, which is awesome to see. So I can play him in any of those positions. But Schalke do uh, actually decline my offer for Julian Draxel. £13.5 million. And I'm going to bump it up here to £17.5 million. And let's hope that Schalke can accept that offer for Draxler because Ribery, he's about, I think, 33 years old or 30. So he is getting into the later stages 
of his uh, time, and obviously he's going to decrease in career mode. So we're going to try and bring Julian Drexler, a young German player who might come in and take his spot. But I am going to use him as a backup for now for Ribery, and we're going to see what comes from that. But it is FC Cologne who do come with the offer for my 33-year-old um, goalkeeper, and I do just accept their offer, knowing that I'm not going to get much money for him because he is pretty old. But Julian Draxler, Schalke have accepted my transfer offer. We're doing the player demands now, the player contract, and let's hope that Draxler can accept that and can join the club right here. But Jovetic, Manchester City are still not accepting my offer, so I'm, I'm actually am going to add Pizarro to the offer. 19.5 million pounds plus Pizarro for Jovetic. Let's hope the City do accept that. But from that, I do receive a transfer offer for Pizarro. It's from Everton, and this man has been attached to the Jovetic transfer. So if this deal does go through, as I do send out a count offer, if this, if that, if Everton do accept it, Pizarro will be leaving to Everton, and I'm gonna have to redo my offer for Jovetic, as my goalkeeper has been sold. A little bit of money will be going to the transfer budget. As Atletico Madrid come with offer for Mario Gotze that I'm going to flat out reject. And also Everton, this time comes with a 2.6 million pound offer for Pizarro that I actually am going to accept. It's a decent deal there. So will the Jovetic deal go through or will I have to redo my uh, my transfer offer? Because obviously Pizarro might be sold to Everton as we're doing the player, player contract here for Jovetic. So City have accepted the transfer offer. Is the transfer going to go through? As we take a look as Julian Draxler has accepted the player contract. Julian Draxler is the first signing in this Bayern Munich crew mode, which is awesome to see. And pushing on as Pizarro has been sold to Everton. That's right, as I did mention before, if Pizarro does get sold to Everton, we're going to have to put in another transfer offer here for Jovetic, as because Pizarro is gone, we can't go through with that transfer. So I'm going to offer 25.5 million pounds for Jovetic from for Manchester City, and let's hope that they do accept that. But we are going to be simulating a couple of friendlies here. The one friendly against Newcastle United. Let's hope that we can pick up the win here. I'm starting Rainer in goals. For this game, a lot of players are being rested, but Draxler, with his first appearance for the club, picks up two goals in the first half. Schweinsteiger also chips in with a goal, and it is 3-0, and the game is going to end 4-0 as Schweinsteiger, from the bench, picks up two goals. So Draxler and Schweinsteiger there getting the goals for us. But as City do accept the transfer offer, which is awesome to see, now we're doing the player contract for Jovetic. He'll be a backup striker for Lewandowski in this 4-3-3 formation. But we are coming up against Alche, the Spanish side, in the second friendly game. Bernat, our left back, actually picks up a goal as Muller does miss a penalty, which is a bit disappointing to see as Martinez does pick up a light injury. Wiser, our young left winger, picks up a goal to make it 2-0, and that is how the game is going to end. So our second friendly game ends in a 2-0 victory. So two good friendly games there, picking up two wins from two games. We will also be having the final friendly game right after this, as Jovetic does actually decline my offer for uh, the contract. So we're going to have to put in another contract offer here for the striker at Manchester City. 81 overall, the 24 year 24 year old striker. I'm actually going to put in 110,000 per week and make him an important first team player. Lil, the final friendly game for our friendly game. So this is our third, third and final friendly game. Let's hope that we can pick up a win here and win all three of our friendly games. As Julian Draxler does pick up a goal in the 23rd minute, and so does our left back Burnett. Both players are picking up goals in all. I want to say all three. No, no, no. Draxler did pick up a goal in the first friendly game, and Bernard did pick up a goal in the second one. They both get a goal in the third friendly game. We also do pick up a 3-0 win. So some very good wins there in our friendly games. Obviously, they are simulated, and they don't really matter at all. As we are trying to, still trying to do the contract for Jovetic, for some reason, he is not accepting it. He just keeps on declining it. But I did chuck in another offer, and this time Jovetic has accepted 120000 per week. An important first team player, Stefan Jovetic, welcome to Bayern Munich. So we've signed two players already in today's episode. We have signed Julian Draxler and Stefan Jovetic, which is awesome to see. But we are going to start the Bundesliga season 
season. That's right, already in episode number one, we're starting the Bundesliga season. It's Bayern Munich versus Wolfsburg, and it isn't the easiest of starts to the season. We're, gonna, we're also going to be having another game to end off the episode, and that game is against Schalke. So Wolfsburg and Schalke, two teams um, in the first two games of the season. So we are... It is going to be a very hard start to the season. Can we cope with it? We'll have to wait and find out. But this 4-3-3 formation, Philip Lahm will be rested. Rafinha will be starting as the right back. That re That's really the only change to the main starting 11. Take a look at the Wolfsburg side for this game. It's going to be Kevin De Bruyne, it's Kevin De Bruyne in the central attacking midfield position. Schürrle out on the left and Luis Gustavo in the CDM position. Naldo as the centre back and Ricardo Rodriguez, the man that I did have in my Manchester United crew mode that we just finished up not too long ago, will be starting as their left back. So it is going to be hard start start to the season. It's Bayern Munich versus Wolfsburg and we will be playing this at home at the Allianz Arena. But in the 27th minute of this game, Wolfsburg do get off to a good start as Dost, their attacker, does get a head onto a cross and he's a fantastic save there from Manuel Neuer and we are going to be expecting that from him throughout this whole season. We all know how good Manuel Neuer is in goals. But from that, Schürrle is going to take the corner. Can Schürrle find a man inside the area for Wolfsburg? He actually whips it in, trying to find the Brune, but it is a bit of a mix-up there from Neuer as our, and our centre-back. Wolfsburg going to pass the ball around here. And some fantastic passing play there. Gustavo does play a 1-2, and he's going to finish that one into the top corner. And after 30 minutes in this Bundesliga season, we have already conceded. It's Bayern Munich nil, Wolfsburg 1, and they do take the lead here in the early stages. As I did just say there, in the early stages, there is still plenty of time to go. But in the 37th minute, we've got Robin down the wing here. Can he try and get past Ricardo Rodriguez? Tries to do so as he does cut inside. Play to Robert Lewandowski. He does take the shot. It is a save there from the Wolfsburg goalkeeper and resulting in that, Wolfsburg do clear the ball. But in the early stages of the second half, we've got Robin looking very dangerous down the wing. It's Lewandowski who plays it to Mario Goethe, who plays a great overtop ball to Thiago. Does well to take it down and what a finish it was. The Wolfsburg goalkeeper just watched that one go into his own net. Couldn't do anything about that. And Thiago has made it by Munich 1, Wolfsburg 1 in this first game of the Bundesliga season. Let's hope that we can build on that and get a second goal and put ourselves in the lead. But in the 59th minute, Wolfsburg do have a free kick, but it is a real easy save for Manuel Neuer. He's going to play it out to Thiago, the goal scorer, as he plays it to Frank Ribery. He's going to look for the run here from David Alaba. Actually does so. Alaba's going to try and push it into our half of the area and does get challenged. So we do have a throw in here. What can result from this throw? And it's David Alaba who throws it in to Thiago actually plays it back to David Alaba. It's David Alaba who's going to try and look for a player in a better position here. Does do so by playing it to Lewandowski. He plays it to Bastian Schweinsteiger who does get taken down inside the area. That's right, Schweinsteiger does get taken down in the area. In the 66th minute, we have the opportunity from a penalty kick to put ourselves 2-1 in the lead. That's right, it is Lewandowski who is actually going to step up and take this penalty. This is a great opportunity here to put ourselves 2-1 in the lead and hopefully that will be enough to secure the first three points at the Allianz Arena for this Bundesliga season. It's Lewandowski who goes to the left. The keeper stays right down the middle and after 68 minutes, after being 1-0 down, we have brought it back and we are now 2-1 in the lead. But in the 80th minute, Goethe does win the ball, plays a great over top ball here to Robert Lewandowski, plays it to Ian Robin, it's Robin 1-1 one -on -one with the goalkeeper, the keeper does make, get, really does get a hand onto that one, but Robin's shot does go into the back of the net, in the 82nd minute, that's right, in the latest stage of this game, Robin has sealed the three points, it's by Munich 3, Wolfsburg 1, and that is how the first game of this Bundesliga season is going to end, that's right, what a way to kick off the Bundesliga season with a 3 one victory over Wolfsburg. Also, three individual goal scorers there. It was Robin Lewandos Robin Lewandowski, obviously from the penalty kick and Thiago, who did start well for that game. But as I did say before, it doesn't get any easier. We're playing Schalke away in the second game of this Bundesliga season. So Wolfsburg and Schalke, two very good sides, two very good sides in the Bundesliga, two really title contenders, you can say. 
if we don't really play good throughout this whole season, Schalke or Wolfsburg could be picking up the Bundesliga title. So we're going to have to beat these teams in order for us to get that advantage to try and win the title. But the Schalke side we are going to be coming up against for this game is a very good side. It's Boateng in the CDM position. Also, Huntelaar up front. Huntelaar is a very, very dangerous attacker. But take a look at my Bayern Munich side for this game. It is actually Rafinha who will also be starting as the right back. Philip Lahm will be playing as a CDM. I'm going to use him as a CDM for this game. Uh, coming in for Bastian Schweinsteiger. Also, Dante will be starting as a centre back. And Julian Draxler, the man who used to play for Schalke, as we did sign not too long ago in today's episode, who will be coming up against his old uh, his old side. And he'll be starting as the the left midfielder for this game but in the 24th minute Schalke made their way inside the area we do take down one of their players and in the 25th minute of this game Schalke do have a penalty that's right another penalty in this first episode of the Bayern Munich career mode as you can see there, Sydney Sam it was who did get taken down inside the air. I think it was Rafinha who did give it away. But Huntelaar does have the opportunity to give Schalke a 1-0 advantage in this game. In the early stages, yet again, could we be down after the first 30 minutes yet again? Yes, we are. As Huntelaar goes straight down the middle, up into the roof of the net. And Neuer did try and dive and save that one. It's 1-0 to Schalke in the 51st minute. They had another opportunity. Their initial shot is saved from Manuel Neuer. The rebound shot from Sam does go wide. So Schalke having all the chances in this game. We didn't even have a first chance. And it was around about the 70th minute or 60th minute. So it was Schalke really controlling this game at home. And really did have to hit back. That's why I did bring on Stefan Jovetic for Robert Lewandowski. And in the 66th minute, things did really change as Thiago is on the ball here. He's going to play it through to Stefan Jovetic, who makes his way onto goal. Can he get his first goal in a Bayern Munich kit? No, he can't. The shot did go into the back of the net, but Jovetic was pulled offside by the linesman. That's right, as you can see there, Jovetic was offside. But pushing on into the 72nd minute, Schalke did have a chance as they do take a shot. It's Manuel Neuer yet again with the save. And Schalke being 1-0 in the lead, they were really, they just wanted to pass the ball around in the last couple of minutes. Very bad decision there from their midfielder as they do win it back. It's Gauthier plays it over top to Ian Robin who tries to make his way onto goal. Does get taken down in a very vicious challenge there from the Schalke defender. Robin did a flip after he did get taken down. We have a chance during stoppage time in the 90th minute that's right in the 90th minute the last play of the game we have a chance to level it at 1-1 and pick up one point from this game Robin a very bad landing there but the man who's going to take this penalty is Robin he did receive uh, he won the penalty for us can he score it in the 90th minute last kick of the game stoppage time a and Robin is going to score. That's right, Robin scores in the 90th minute. We have pulled the game back at 1-1. The game is going to end Schalke 1 by Munich 1. That's right, that's how it's going to end. And that is how the games for today's episode is also going to end. So a 1-1 draw against Schalke, a 3-1 win against Wolfsburg. It's a decent start to the season. Obviously, we would have liked to get both wins from those games, but a win and a draw, something that is not bad, but we will be having transfer deadline day here. Transfer deadline day, nothing did really happen. No really teams came with offers for my players, and I didn't really need to change up the side at all because our team is looking very, very good at the moment. I'm very happy of the way that our team is progressing from those two games. But from that, Bad Stuba is going to be out with, for two months with a training injury something that is very disappointing to see but that is how today's first episode of the buy munich cream mode is going to end if you did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and drop a like rating drop a comment down below if i to respond to you subscribe if you are new around here don't miss the next episode that will be coming out tomorrow and i'll see you all on my next video